This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this tutorial by Ace of Twelve. Today we're just going to be going over making a basic site in uh, with any text editor. I'm just going to be using Notepad++. Uh, so, um, of course, let's start with the basic setup. The HTML tags. Head. And in the head title, uh, I'm just going to call this example. Okay, uh, now really you should have a doc type, but uh, I can't memorize any of that stuff, so I haven't put it down. Uh, anyway, now you just want to go file, save as. And I'm going to save it into here as, of course, whoops, an HTML file. And you just want to call it ind index because... Um, when you have a site, uh, whenever someone enters your URL into the browser, the browser will uh, basically look for any index, and if the index isn't there, it just pops up with a list of all the files on your site. So uh, you want to name this index. Um, okay, now uh, of course there's style sheets. We can use the style tags like so, uh, but it's a bit more professional if you use the link tag. So link rel equals style sheet. Um, type equals text slash CSS and ref is um, just called style.css and then close that tag off. Uh, this doesn't need a closing link tag so you just have this like here. Um, now of course we've made, we've referenced our um, CSS file. Let's actually make our CSS file so style.css CSS file. Okay, now when we go file save as in this one, we're going to save it in exactly the same place um, in, but, and call it style.css. So now this is actually referencing to a, a file that exists, which is this file. Um, okay, so now let's go back to here. What, what you always want to do really with, um, with websites is Div a container. Uh, so if you make a website, uh, normally you'd have to um, say uh, text dash align if you want it to be centered. You'd have to say text dash align is center. But if you've got images in there, they're not going to be centered. So what you use is a container. Um, and then we're just going to make the CSS for this container in here. So div hash container for. Uh, the hash means ID, of course, and container was the ID we gave it, and div just means it's an ID of a div. Uh, so um, now uh, we're just going to put the width of our container. So uh, I'm going to say around 800 pixels, that's how much I normally do it, and then the height is 100%. Oops. And then you're just going to input a margin, um, zero and auto. Uh, basically, what this does is it says we want our thing to be right at the top because when when you have a margin, right, uh, it goes the first number counts as how far away from the top is. So if I put ten here, uh, it will be ten pixels from the top. So it's like pushing it down. Imagine your things up here, you're sort of pushing it down ten pixels, uh, and then and then if we put another ten here, oops, that will mean uh, it will be pushed. 10 from the right, so pushed from here to here. And then another 10 will be from the bottom up. And then another 10 will be from the left. And then this auto, it wouldn't work because uh, there's not 5. So basically, what what we're saying with uh, 0 and auto oops, uh, is we want it to be nothing from the top. And then you're going to auto align it on the left, the right, and the bottom. Uh, which basically centers it, which is what we're aiming for here. And then uh, you can put an optional text align in there. Just so it aligns all the text into the center of our 800 pixels. Um, yeah, anyway, that's done now. Uh, so everything has to go in this container if you want it to be centered like so. Um, now, 
you can either use tables when making a website. Uh, tables or divs, sorry. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I sort of did my site. If you uh, see here, it's sort of like in sections, here's the header image, then a nav bar, and then uh, this content, and then the uh, copyright sign down there. Um, so, let's sort of do it like that. So, we'll first, we're going to uh, div another ID as a uh, header. And then you can put image if you want. Or you could just have header if it's just going to be something like text. Um, actually, I'm going to put text. I don't want to have to make an image. Um, so, um, now we're just going to say this is the header. And then we're going to have to do all the stuff in this CSS to tell what we want to, uh, the header to look like. So, div hash header. Um, and we're just going to give this a width of 800 pixels. I want it to be the full width of the container. And then a height of... Uh, if you're using an image, you want to have it the height of the image. Um, this... How much... How big is this image? We can sort of go off that. Uh, okay, I can't see him. I'll just go through uh, here. That one. Oh, I know where it is. This one. Uh, this one. Here we go. Uh, so if we just hover over this, it's 800 by 200. So uh, if you just take a look at this 200 seems quite high. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with let's try 75 pixels for a start. Um, and of course, we'll have the uh, text align in center, so our text is in the center. Okay, so now this will be centered in a box which is uh, 800 by 75 pixels. But at the moment, we haven't uh, given any, uh, we haven't shown where the box is. It's just like an invisible box. So uh, now let's put a border around the box. Um, so we're just going to say border is 1px. Uh, you can either have it solid or dotted. Let's go dotted for a change. And then we can put it in a color here as well. I'm going to say it's going to be a white border. Um, and yeah, we've already specified the width and height there. So no more with that. Uh, so now, now we've got this, let's just take a look at what our website looks like at the moment. Okay, so that, there you can see uh, it's printed out the text. For some reason, order isn't working. Maybe uh, you don't normally specify that there. Let's try specifying it down here. Um, well, let, let's just not specify for the moment. And we'll give it, yeah, okay. So there we go, there's a black... Uh, Black, uh, black dotted border. Actually, that looks kind of ugly. So let's make it uh, solid. Okay, if we refresh this, it's now a solid black border, and of course the text is centered, but it's not uh, vertically centered. Um, I think I'm not exactly sure how you vertically center it. I don't know. Uh, with um. In tags, you can normally use V align, so maybe I'll just try that in a div tag. Oops. Uh, put in a div tag here. V align equals middle. No, okay, that doesn't work. Oh well. Uh, you can look that up later if you want to figure it out. Okay, anyway, now we've got our header. We're gonna have another div for the navbar. So div ID navbar. Close that off there, and then let's uh, specify in here, div id navbar. Uh, before we go into the CSS here, I just want to um, talk about things. You can you can give references to uh, everything in the CSS. Um, so what we're just going to do is, we're gonna, rather than saying uh, body bg color here as an attribute, which is deprecated, which means it's not in use anymore. Uh, we're going to specify in the CSS, so we're going to say body, and then we're going to say uh, background color, 
is number zero 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 zero. And if we save and refresh, okay, that's now uh, that's now black on the background color. Um, 